My name is Tim Walsh. I'm the director of Buildings and Grounds at Hoopston Area High School. My name is Brad Walsh. I'm the assistant to the Buildings and Grounds here at Hoopston High School. Currently, we are here at the softball field. We have about eight fields that we paint here at the school. We have uh, two soccer fields, a practice football field, a football field, softball and baseball, and a band practice field, along with a youth football field. But before we had the turf tank, we used a manual sprayer that we walked behind. Uh, we would go through about 65 gallons of paint on our football field alone, and would take about three days to paint that. It would take about four guys to be out there to do that. With a turf tank, we can do it with about 15 gallons of mixed paint, which actually equals about uh, two and a half gallons of, of unmixed paint. Uh, it takes us four hours to paint a football field. The cost savings is uh, tremendous, and it's been able to save us a lot of time on other fields as well and be able to do some things that we weren't able to do before. When we first got our robot, we both worked with it to set it up, but as that went on, my son started doing more of the more detailed work. If it required setting up something special, I would have him do it. The uh, practice football field that we paint, we put the lettering in the end zone for our school here, the Hoopston Corn Jerkers, and with the turf tank, that has sped up the progression time and the accuracy of what it can do is, is phenomenal. In the past, we have not been able to put anything in the end zone without using stencils and the cost of stencils was cost prohibitive. So we just never was able to do that with this unit, we're able to do that. Along with uh, text of any type on the field, we're gonna put uh, on our middle of our field, we'll put our football logo, which is something that uh, I don't believe has ever been done. So. It'll be kind of a neat thing to do for the kids. Being the director of buildings and grounds, I take care of four different buildings in our district. Before, I would have had to stay and paint the fields, whether it be a football field or the soccer fields or, or whatever it is we were lining, I couldn't get away. Now I'm able to go to the other schools and handle issues that might come up during the day that I need to be around for and taken care of. So this has enabled us to free up a lot of time where we can send it off on its way, and then come back half an hour, hour later, and get it all taken care of, get it cleaned up and, and put away. On our old unit, the cleanup part of this would take us probably an hour to clean the old unit up, to scrub things down and get it done. This unit, you simply put the water in, spray it, it cleans the whole system out. There really isn't much to it. Five minutes, pretty much, and you're done. Uh, you can put it up and move on to your next task that you have. I would recommend anyone that's looking into this to get this unit. It saved so much time, so much money, and that was a question my board brought up to me. But when I started talking about the cost of paint and how much paint we was using and how much the labor and the people it took to do, again, just the football field alone, it wasn't, it wasn't a hard sell when they heard the kind of money we used to spend and all of that compared to the turf tank, the ease in which that is made uh, painting a field.